ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now today we face Aldershot away at the Ebb Stadium on this Easter Monday after Friday's results of Bromley. Of course it ended in a loss, so a lot of our fans now wondering will the really bad happen to us this season and will we end up facing our first ever club relegation back down to the National East South. Of course at the moment that league table isn't looking too healthy on our perspective. Five points adrift now off of Willstone. And our goal difference isn't looking too good either, so we're going to have to pull out a miracle here. I am anticipating a very good atmosphere. Of course, all the shot are known as some of the best home fans in this in this league. They were very good at Meadowbank as well, and that day against Stockport. So hopefully we bring a good following as well, so I'm anticipating a good atmosphere. Before we head over to the Lincoln Arms, please make sure to hit like, hit subscribe. We're going to go for 150 likes in today's video. Hit subscribe, and yeah, let's get over to the train station. Right guys, so we're on route to the station, we're with Aiden and Ethan. Ethan, what's your score prediction? I'm going to say 2-1 Dorking. I'm going to go 4-0 to the Wanderers. Come on! Very hopeful, I'm going to go 1-1 and we're going to get a point today. Come on boys, I'll see you at the Ebb Stadium. Right guys, so we've arrived in order shop. Now it's time to get in the ground. Lovely. Enjoy the game, mate. Thank you, mate. Right guys, so we're inside the Ebb now, of course. Hopefully it should be a good attendance today from both fans. They've obviously got the extended home bit as well. We got our way in here in here. Hopefully we get good attendance and yeah, I'm predicting a very close game today, actually. Hopefully we get three points today. Come on boys. It's vital we do. Come on, I'll see you at kickoff. Go again. Right guys, it's half time here at the Ebb. Aldershot took a lead very early on. I mean, oh, it was the worst start possible. Harris Mel just played it out. I think it's a bit of a miscommunication and then he's in. He's not going to get an easy chance than that. Uh, we have grown into the half though. We've had a, pe a penalty appeal. We've had a couple 
flashes across goal, we've had an offside, we've had a header that went wide. I mean, we have had chances, we've just got to put them away in the second half. I do believe, boys, the longer this stays 1-0, the more chance we have of getting something. Come on, boys, I will see you in the second half. Five minutes plus added time here to play. Come on, boys, it's still all to play for. Well, guys, full time. It finishes 1-1 at the end between Aldershot Town and Dorking Wanderers. It's a point that I will take, but, I mean, at this point in the season, three is the must. But, I mean, it is better than nothing. Aldershot Town fans were some of the best home fans that I've heard this season. They were very loud from start to finish. So were we. We had a very good turnout today. 4,000 odd at the ebb today, which is just incredible for the fifth tier. I mean, great attendance and hopefully both sides... Hopefully we remain in the division and hopefully Aldershot can make the playoffs. It is fair to say we did have chances to win that game. So did Aldershot. Harrison Mell did keep us in it at times. I mean, Charlie Carter was very unlucky not to score that chance straight after we equalised. So, I mean, it's just one of those. We've got to take the point at the end of the day. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. Hit like. Let's go for 150 likes today's video. Hit subscribe. And, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.